No video, I'm recording this one at home. You know me, Chillmonger, Amazing Spider-Man issue number 39. We're getting up there, we're almost at 40, and that's okay. I like that, and I like this. Amazing Spider-Man is upside down, you see there at the final panel. It creates this anticipation, because when we turn over to the next page, all of a sudden, it's him. He gets introduced, and they subtly introduce everybody in this comic book as if you were a new reader, and it's new reader friendly, and I like it. Nora's plan over here is to make them get in the same room and they're combustible elements. What she gets happens, but there's a lot of growing that happens too. I like how Spider-Man worded everything, but Jameson, even though he's in the wrong, I like that Jameson still had a leg to stand on here in this conflict. Now they're gonna have differences on why they got to where they got to. It's a lack of communication throughout the years. Jameson's gonna say he was looking out for Spidey when he did that big shield expose. Um, and he even gets a promotion, so this is very fictional in this universe where uh, news reporters... Never mind. Uh, Spider-Man's just mad. He's saying stay out of it. And he feels like he's in the right, but then he sort of realizes, yo, in my head, this went a little bit better. Let's just do this podcast interview. So they're talking to do the podcast interview. Spider-Man says, I have always been on the up and up. Jameson says, not necessarily. He's got a butt. There's a huge butt. Triple J reminds him of every time and every opportunity Spidey had when they were ever together, he used to make him look like an ass. Look, even the black suit, the time he had the black suit was emphasized here in this, uh, this big collage page. So what Jameson says makes a lot of sense. You should be communicating with the media and you got a problem with us. You don't just fight us. You maybe give your side of the story. We're there to report, and you're this masked stranger, you, ne you were never available, you were never on a team, and then Spidey goes, wait, no, I was on a team, wasn't I? It's called the Avengers, and he's going to tell him, you were on the Avengers, and Jameson's going to tell him, you were on the Avengers, but you got kicked out, and then Spidey comes and says, well, I got kicked out, because it was actually Dr. Octopus, and then Jameson hits him with, we wouldn't even know your personality from Dr. Octavius, that's why you need to communicate. Wow. Now, Spidey has a right to his privacy. Chip Zdarsky has a right to his privacy. Um, Chillmonger has a right to our privacy. When I want to be uh, an online personality without using my real name, I, I have a right to do that. Meanwhile, at Chance's Casino Airship of the Palace, there's some villainy brewing. This man over here is going to be accused of cheating. He'll say, I hardly did cheat. And we look at the current bets that are being placed. There's the Hulk versus the Yeti. Impressive. And then there's the Iron Man 2020. Most impressive. Nick Spencer's making it feel like all of Marvel happens at the same time. That's why I pick up these books instead of waiting for the trade or waiting six months for the Marvel Unlimited. It's because I need to know what's happening in this comic book to understand what's happening in other comic books. And so I actually buy them instead of waiting for the trades. Now here's a problem I have with this comic. They're talking about finding Spidey. The drones don't have their eyes on him. But not to worry, old friend. My team has already pinpointed the wall crawler's location. How? It's never specified, and it never needs to be specified. Because then I'm going to be wondering how you don't know who Peter is, and part of Spider-Man's... His secret is a big deal. So if you can find Spider-Man and know where he is, then shoot. It's, and this isn't a live podcast as they specified earlier they they let us know this is not a live broadcast this is being edited so maybe if they could be like oh well listen to the radio he must be in wherever they record they go on the internet find Jamin just jameson's uh, recording studio and they found him that's not how it happened i'm worried but whatever man like spider-man is not taking care of his secret identity i feel like that's what i talk about every video where i review this comic next page you're gonna see they're in full out battle mode and uh, they're champagning and celebrating that Jameson and Spidey are not on the same wavelength. They'll have to be because his spider sense tingles and I love that the visuals over here show us that. He comes and saves him from near doom and that is going to be the comic book. How many pages did this take now? Page count, browse pages, we're on page 20. Now 20 pages of artwork is the standard over at Marvel, however, uno, dos, we got 18 pages of story. Also, we can get five of these pages that were written by Spencer, but drawn by Francesco Morio. I can't see. Let me zoom that in. Give the credits to these people here. I got it right. Mobili. 
So thank you for watching this one. I want to give a shout out to my sponsor, Squared Space. <laughs> I'm joking. Nick Spencer gets it. Um, I do have a podcast with Comic Book University. If you want to hear all two hours of it from this week, check out the description link. That's me. I'm out.